Welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you for joining me here, everyone. I hope you're doing fabulous, collective. I really, really do. And I, I mean that genuinely. I know you've all been through. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you what you've been through. You know what you've been through. It's been very difficult, guys, but let's hope for the best here. Collective Energy, thank you so very much for your generosity to me. White Tara, sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, harsh environments, harsh situations, and harsh chemicals. Ishtar, boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy. Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with the Earth, maybe environmentalism. Diana, focus your intention, keep your awareness, your, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused. Oh my goodness, you're going to have to set up boundaries here. I don't know, you could be extra sensitive at this time. And it's really, in, you're increasingly becoming more sensitive. Sensitive to people, places, things, environments, chemicals. Eisel. Undying love. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. Matt is here with fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So know that. You could be facing some situations now other than your person. But I can honestly tell you, oh, Irene is here with peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. I am sensing that. I got to be real with you guys. I am sensing... Oh, there could be some s sensitive subjects coming up, sensitive situations coming up, and you're more prone to feeling like it's almost instinctual, like you know there's something coming up here where you're going to have to stand up for yourself and set boundaries. You, everything is working out beautifully. Look, so, what's going on? You may be releasing allegiances. People could be shocked at your transformation. You could be shocking people. You've changed. And this is not going to make everybody happy. It's just not. You're focused on a big, bold vision. You have undying love. The love that you have shared is eternal, regardless of your situation. And it's like you keep diving for the light. You keep looking for the good in everyone in every situation. But you're going to have to trust yourself because you're going to have to definitely There's a 
lot of water here. So it is increased sensitivities. And you may have to release some allegiances. Situations that are pulling you back situations that people are going the wrong direction you gotta let them go messages you're mending You're exchanging gifts with a higher power. This is serendipity. You've got to... Someone may want to message you. I feel sighing. I'm sighing. It's almost like spirit <coughs> what's next you know seriously what is next i think you're shocking a lot of people collective i think you are shocking a lot of people at your new life who you're becoming and like i said not everybody's gonna like what you're becoming. Surrender, you've... Have faith. You are limitless right now. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and my illusions. And it's about you trusting your inner self, trusting the universe. Oh my Lord, allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. This is your inner child. You have liberated yourself. You have sort of like claimed authority over your own path in your own direction. You are very strong and courageous here with strength. well-being outrageous openness dear love open me up to your will release me from my attachments surprise and delight me with your plan you know what's needed and I am open to receive telling you to stay focused on your path the doubts and the fears still come up to you and you may not believe anymore that they're even you and people like I said may not even believe your transformation, how you have grown, how you have liberated yourself, how you have gained such strength. And from time to time, these doubts, these fears might come back up to you, your 
becoming very sensitive to subjects, sensitive to harsh relationships, sensitive to harsh subjects. You know what I mean? You're extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. And you may have had to You could be recollecting things. That serendipity, deja vu, you know, like recollecting things. And you're becoming very sensitive to harsh environments. You want peace. You want to stay focused. You're trying to focus in on the light. Why is, what's this message all about? What's this message all about? Could be to do with family. Family, maybe, who just abandoned you, rejected you, or ghosted you. You deserve to be honored. You deserve to be respected. Your impetuous and uniqueness that deserves to be honored and respected. Like I said, it's like people coming at you. family angry at you pissed off with you frustrated with you intimidation Pissed off with you that you have liberated yourself. Pissed off with you that you know, you may have memories that are coming to you that make you angry. Or cause you doubt or fear. But just keep working away. Give that inner child your full attention right now you know how the enemy works like the enemy will come at you and they'll put ideas in your head or memories in your head to make you doubt yourself to make you Question what you're doing. Question who you are. You're really sensitive right now to certain situations, which is why you're being told to avoid harsh um, relationships right now.
harsh people, harsh situations, and it's looking like family. Oh, jeez. Like, you've taken your power back. You're looking after your own well-being here. Release me from my attachments. And I'm open to receive. So somebody... Yep. Someone might think you're a fool. Someone may be... Oh, jeez. Is there triggers, triggers, triggers? news coming towards you that you're going to have to be very discerning it's almost like these people are angry at you because you've liberated yourself because you're healing your inner child. Um, yeah, they are. Look at this. Look at you're surrounded. <laughs> you're surrounded. They got you surrounded here. You may have to cut allegiances to some people, I'm gonna tell you right now. There's people coming at you, collective, on all angles. This way, this way, this way. They're all around you. And it's like, it's like demanding your time, your attention, and then they get all pissy at you because And here you are busy trying to heal. I cannot. You're trying to heal your inner child. You're trying to heal from abandonment. You're trying to heal from... Um, harsh... People, situations, environments. 
you know, you're human. And I don't think people realize that you are a human. I don't think they realize you're a human being. I think that a lot of people are coming back around this could be another frickin test seriously to see if you know you mean what you say you say what you mean it's almost as if people are challenging you. It's almost as if people are coming at you from all angles here. This is another test. To see like if you'll get off your path or, or if make you fear and doubt your decisions make you fear and doubt um, shake your faith oh my god And you may have to block people. people from your past coming in to see if they can shake your faith to see if they can control you are you still controllable uh, can I manipulate you? Can I still have control of you? Do I still have control of you? And this could be family. just to shake up your world you know what I mean Testing you, testing you, testing your boundaries, testing to see if they can shake your foundation. Are you really solid? 
are are you how you, testing your faith testing your your whole world here win at all costs you know I don't know. People could be being harsh with you, coming at you with a harshness, coming at you with like arrogantly, selfishly saying stupid things to you to make you lose your footing. Make you doubt yourself. Make you fear your, your choices and your decisions. Here you are mourning still, some of you. You could have gone through a loss of someone. Some of you are grieving for real. And people come at you at your lowest. Just saying. Imagine you're going to have to set up boundaries. This is you deserving, deserving to be honored. And those that are not honoring you and respecting you, you're going to have to cut them off and set boundaries too, I'm telling you. Coming in to test your faith. It's the devil. <laughs> Behind it all, it's the devil. It is the devil using situations, could be imagination, memories, trying to trigger you, make you doubt yourself, or using these people to come at you to make you doubt yourself, to make you lose your faith, shake your faith. It's a test. Spirit saying, keep on task. Realize it's just a trick of the enemy. It's imagination. You might see a lot of images.
people. Trying to keep you off balance. Planning it too. It's like a trick. The enemy is using people to come in to try and shake your foundation, shake your faith. They could be really nasty, say mean things. Trying to deliberately hurt you, trying to because you're super sensitive right now for whatever reason, and that sensitivity is increasing. To break your peace, everything is working out beautifully. There is no need to worry. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be honored and cherished. And who needs to go, needs to go. And there are many. People making, you know, accusations about you, trying to make you doubt yourself, question your faith, your belief system, your morals, your character, everything, 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 everything. faith spirit is saying don't worry it's all working out beautifully messages you trying to pick a fight with you right when you're healing so whatever you're going through collective know that these people who were against you I don't care, there's many here. They're also going through it. It's really important for you to not engage in harsh conversations, harsh situations, because they're coming at you.
Oh, let's face it. This one's harsh. Okay. You deserve to be honored. You deserve to be respected. And it's people coming at you who are... Heavily laden. But they're coming at you to provoke you. They're coming at you to um, argue with you, provoke a fight with you. Provocative energies. They figure if they can come in and bring you into their drama. But they're not coming genuinely. Guys, they're not. They're coming to start trouble. Um, this could be your family doing this. Okay, and you're just being given the heads up. Maybe they're fighting and arguing amongst themselves. Maybe there's some trouble here. Maybe there's family dissension going on. Everybody's been talking about you behind your back. Everybody's been, you know, giving their opinion about something. You know what I'm saying? So you might get a message that they're trying to disturb your peace is what they're trying to do. You're busy here healing. You may have gone through some trauma. Like, seriously, you could have lost a loved one in your family or something like that you're still grieving from. Plus this relationship breakup you've gone through. Trying to heal your inner child. Trying to work and go to work and fit it all in. Avoid harsh environments. If people are coming in at you, you deserve respect and honor. And if they are not doing that, cut them out. Because it will halt your healing. It's like they want to rile you up. You know what I mean? They want to rile you up. Get you off balance. Get you off your path. Get you off... Uh, frustrated and angry and if they can provoke in a fight with you or provoke an argument with you then you're not focusing in on you it's a heads up it seems like the ones who were backstabbing you or talking behind your back now they're fighting amongst themselves and then they want to call you up to bring you into their fucking drama that you've been busy trying to heal from. Don't let them trick you. Uh, whoever these people are, exes, family members, it's majorly showing. Family, family, family. These are the same people you're trying to heal from. Judging you.
whatever is coming at you, this is either now or in the near future. These are family members. These are, could be exes. family. They may have ghosted you. You know, like you never existed to them. You may not have talked to them or seen them in years. you're really going to have to think. after your well-being protect that inner child you're being told to protect that inner child you're really sensitive right now and these people are really being harsh okay they're being harsh the last thing you want to do at this point is allow them to set you back on your journey Because that's what they're coming at you to do. Wanting to pick a fight with you, judge you, criticize you, call you names, or frustrate you, or anger you. Because they got some issues going on or something like that. And who's the old dump post? You. You. Maybe they don't think you're worthy of respect. Maybe they don't think you're worthy of honor and respect. Maybe they're just idiots that don't know any better. Saying snappy, arrogant remarks to you, you know, you know, to belittle you, you know, to humble you, to make you feel lesser than. Don't put up with it. Don't make time for people like that. They're a waste of time. Your allegiance now is to yourself and your higher power. Spirit is saying you had an undying love. And the love that you have already shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. You care for people. You do. And it's almost like spirits doing some work behind the scenes on people. You're following um, 
a big bold pitcher and you are still healing okay you are most of you are some of you are completely healed but you've been through a lot all right you really have been you are worthy of respect and dignity and honor so these people want to come at you and it is showing family if they want to come at you with negativity blaming you did this you did this if they want to pick a fight with you say i'm sorry i gotta go to work i don't have time to deal with this I'm sorry, you have reached 1-800-NO-MORE-GIVES-A-FUCKS. If these people are the ones who put you in this heavy state here of I don't think they've changed guys put it to you that way if it's your family who it's like you've always you could have been the black sheep of the family or you could have been the one that everybody blamed behind the scenes for their life problems or something like that you could have been the one who tried to hold everything together and had undying love for everyone and you wanted fairness for everyone. But they don't see it that way. These are blamers. If it wasn't for you, blah, 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 blah. They don't have a clue about you. Some of these you haven't talked to in many, many years. People from your past coming back just as a test to see what they can get away with. Can they manipulate you? Can they control you? Can they make you feel like a pile of crap? The answer is no, don't let them do it. Family or no family. trying to uh, make you feel small so they feel big like treating you like you're not worthy of respect like who the f are you i don't know if these are people on your job i don't know if these are your well it is strongly family that's the next weapon i guess that the nasty one has huh Put you right back where you know to rock bottom again that's what they're gonna try and do you're gonna have to be brave and courageous and trust the universe will back you be polite but as soon as it starts to go left go right you know what i mean these are right fighters. They need to be right. Very judgmental. They need to be right. Pleasantly say, I'd love to chat, but I gotta go to work. Or make up some excuse if you got to. Or be outrageously open them and give them a piece of your damn mind. I don't know, but don't get sucked, sucked into the drama. Don't get sucked into getting baited into an argument that you really cannot afford. Trust me, guys, it's too hard. On this healing um, path, it's too hard to deal with what you're dealing with, with all these naysayers. It's hard to heal. 
without all this commotion going on. Very judgmental family. It is very judgmental. Yep, they want to hold you up by sucking you into some kind of drama. I don't care if that's your ex. I don't care if that's family. I don't care who these people are. They don't have the right to come at you any way, but with honor and respect. And if they cannot bring themselves to do that, then you do not need them in your life. Do not disturb your peace. Do not disturb your harmony. If you find it starting to affect you, you are to avoid harsh situations. It's really crucial right now, and I'm not really sure why, but it is. So take care.